Hi guys, this is the Apple Bar Report meeting and I have to return it. The one on the right, which is the same exact one, but that's the first one I received. It was all chunky. Unable to use it, chunky with a little bit of water, almost like tofu. The one on the left, I received this one today as a replacement. I didn't have to pay for that one, but again, it's all chunky. The same reason I called Apple Barrel yesterday and they apologize, but I did buy it from Amazon. Amazon's really good about returns. So this one's going back. I'm just going to take it over to the locker and send this one back. It's one I'm keeping just because I didn't have to return this one. And the return I actually did through their online. I didn't call them, but I think they're going to refund my credit card. I'd rather have a refund of the uh, like the gift card they just put it right into your account but anyway I'm returning that and here's the two paintings I poured yesterday the one on the left here is called stuck up octopus because I saw an article this morning on npr.com about how octopus octopi I guess is the uh is that I don't know is that the plural whatever I say the octopus referring to one octopus can attach itself to things but not to itself because they found a chemical that prevents the octopus from attaching to its own skin and um, so I just saw this painting and I said oh that just looks like the octopus in a way because like the tentacles sort of coming out and the suction cups um, there's a lot of movement in that painting let me see if I can get like a better you'll see the sun shining on it right now from my window so it had that kind of yellow part there is the sunlight so the picture on NPR shows the suction cups and I I don't know the painting reminded me of that and here's the other one I did this is the first one I did and the one here the octopus stuck up octopus that's the remaining paint from this painting but you'll see there's not a lot of green it's so funny how this math this art technique is this really great because you just never know I like that I like not knowing what's going to happen it's really a big surprise and you know it's just really like fun so here's the apple barrel very disappointed because I wanted to use this I like to try new products it's really fun and you never know you might stumble upon something that you really like but no nope. something happened either with their creation of this product or the way it was stored maybe but I ordered deco art a whole gallon of it or I think a half gallon of it takes a long time to arrive but the deco art pouring medium is really creamy I haven't had a problem with it being chunky like this one and let me see if I can open it I whoops sorry about my finger there I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you inside look at that see the chunks in there They're like tofu sitting in water so very disappointed I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again that's a shame because there's a big market now for everything acrylic pouring a lot of people are getting into it sorry about my finger keeps going through to the lens um, so that's all I have to say um, I'm gonna try other pouring mediums also right now I'm sticking with my M1 acrylic extender and the deco art and I like the airbrush medium but this stuff now I'm giving it thumbs down unless they improve it and I'll give them a chance but thanks for watching bye